This video will be a demonstration on how to modify the Parrot Disco with the GoPro Hero 5. Um, the reason you want to use the GoPro Hero 5 uh, is because it has a lot of capabilities over the older GoPros and particularly for UAS applications it has geotagging automatically in it so you can tie the the coordinates of the photo uh, with the photo itself for post-processing in things like uh, drone deploy or what I use which is uh, Pix4D so it gives you a lot of capability to do that without having to go through the pain of downloading the autopilot coordinates or anything like that in order to match up the pictures so this is a great way to uh, to do that uh, this is the inside of the parrot disco you can see the the autopilot up front the battery back behind that and then you see this little area back here which is pretty much GoPro size I have a feeling they anticipating doing this kind of stuff with this aircraft and that's why they they did it this way but it's a real quick modification it will literally take maybe 15 minutes and all you need is basically an exacto knife I like using a razor blade and a, a toothpick or something like that and that's all you need basically to do this because it's already set up uh, to uh, to be modified here and I'll show you why here in a second uh, so this is what we're looking to do is this area right back here we're looking to mount the uh, the GoPro 5 in there. You can see I've already started this one a little bit. I've carved out a little bit more of the area back here than was originally um, out of here. You can basically lay the GoPro in there and then trace around it to start this up as you'll see in the uh, uh, the next picture here. So what we're looking to do is mount that GoPro inside there. Now that's just laid down on top of it and the problem is if you look at it from the side the camera's sticking out uh, high and it also isn't low enough for the field of view of the camera. In other words, it's too far up in the fuselage and you will see the, the edges of the fuselage if you mount it uh, like this without doing a little bit of carving on the actual aircraft itself. So there's without the battery. You can see that area we're looking to carve out is right there in front of it. So I just take a, uh, a razor blade and start cutting down in here on the sides. You can again use an X-Acto knife going across there. Um, I've also made a little area here where that uh, the lens is going to cut down in it. Just realize it's offset to the uh, the left side here a little bit, how I have this one set up. The interesting thing is as soon as you cut, make that first cut on the back and the sides, you'd think you'd have to slice in from the front side here, but it actually is a separate piece. So this piece pops out right here as soon as you, as soon as you cut the edges. And as you can see, that's what's underneath there. It's not glued together or anything, again, looking like it was made for this type of a... Uh, uh, modification with, with this in mind. So once you get that you can pull that piece out right there and now you have uh, a shot that's the size or a hole that's the size of the uh, uh, the Hero 5 and now you need to just cut out the the other space up here where the lens is going to stick down through it. Uh, you can go ahead and stick the GoPro 5 in there, tra trace around the edges of where that is going to be and then you can use a toothpick or whatever you have. I had a little uh, punch that I used and just stuck it straight down on the corners so I can mark those in the bottom of the aircraft. So just put a punch through like that to mark each corner and then on the bottom of the aircraft you can see where those four corners are at now. And once you have that you can uh, do a rough cut around where it's at. By the way, one thing to remember on this is when you're cutting it, cut it a little bit smaller than you think it's going to need to be, you know, maybe a sixteenth inch on each side because you can always trim more material but it's a pain to put material back and you want this to be able to fit in snugly without having any velcro or anything else on there and you, you just want to start with it a little bit smaller so I suggest you, uh, you do that. And then once you get it cut you can just pop that piece out, it comes right out like that and now you have the, uh, the spot for the lens to go down through. You can pretty this up as much as you want if you want to go around the uh, edges here and you can you can bevel it a little bit uh, so it looks a little bit more like that uh, on the side here. You can see from the top that's the spot where the, uh, the GoPro is going to go down, uh, down through there and you can see that camera just fits right down there perfectly. As a matter of fact it's down below the edges so these magnets back here will still hold the uh, the top of uh, the cargo bay on without any problem and it's in there tight enough that you don't have to worry about it uh, falling out. So that's it looking at it from the uh, the bottom uh, and how it's coming through there. Again final assembly with the battery hooked up and ready to go. Um, one thing you're noticing here on this is that I have this uh, located right uh, on the bottom of it looking straight down. Um, so typically when you're doing a nadir Nader filming for PIX4D, in other words the camera is looking close to straight down, you want it about that 85 degree angle or 80 to, to 
to 90, somewhere around there. But realize when this flies, it's flying at its max endurance speed, a little bit higher than that. But you're going to get you're probably about 5 to 8 degrees of angle of attack with it. So if the camera's pointing straight down like this, just by the nature of the way the aircraft flies, you're going to get about an 83 to 85 degree angle just with that. Um, experimenting with this, um, I put a little bit higher and put about just another maybe 5 degree tilt in it. So it's looking forward just a little bit more, um, but it really doesn't need much. You know, and obviously this isn't something you'd want to modify if you're looking to take pictures out of the front of the aircraft or something like that. But for anybody that is looking to do any uh, 3D 3D work uh, through Pix4D or a similar program, this is really uh, how you want to have the whole thing set up. As you can see, the uh, the top fits down inside of there without any problem, and uh, we can put the top on it, and the whole thing fits in there without being an issue. So good luck. Hope that helps.